Okay. I just was calling. I, I just didn't like the fact I see your tears falling down your face. But don't cry. But didn't I tell you about that? You can't let these people see your tears, Gracie. They're not worth your tears. Yeah, but you don't like, but I like, you know, me don't like lie. I don't tell if you money cost me without paying her in the mind. But you don't uh -huh. tell lie upon me now. Lie on you, that's when you're supposed to stand firm. I can't hear you, Grace. I can't hear you. May I hear you? May I hear you? You know, that's when, but I wanted to address something that I saw somebody type. They said that uh, Mishka was Matlock. Mishka's not Matlock. Why is the person doing this? Uh, wait, I'll call you back. Yes, Carla, what are you saying? Yeah, Mishka is not Matlock. Mishka has a list tongue. Mishka lives in Queens. She doesn't, you know what I mean? She don't live in Florida. She don't live in Jamaica. She lives right in Queens. She has one son. And let me tell you something. I used to be on Ashanti page. And I was one of his most loyalist people. I wasn't no follower, okay? We built that stinking piece of shit page. Oh, together, because okay? I didn't even recognize it was you. What's going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, go we ahead, man. Okay, um, I set the tone on that bitch. And let me tell you, today, I have a lot of enemies because, you know, people thought it was the my, you know, doing with the way things he was doing it. They didn't know that that's just Ashanti because he's such a con artist, okay? You know, he likes to take his followers and turn them against each other, make one person feel more important than the other. That way, one person will spend more money than the other. But you see, he couldn't keep me around because, you know, I wasn't sexually attracted to Ashanti like that, or we didn't have no type of physical relationship like that. So he couldn't use me for money. You see what I'm saying? So when I used to tell him, you do what you got to do to get money and phones and whatever you're going to do out of them older women, because you can't do that to me because I don't like you like that. You know what I mean? This is about building the lives, you know, getting money to, to donate to the school in Jamaica and donate to the people in Jamaica. But then even all of that stuff ended up falling out. And the only person he ended up having was Big Red. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But Ashanti like war. He, he, he's very calculated in his moves. You understand what I'm saying? Like he'll build up evidence, get the videos together, take a clip here, take a clip there, get it all together and make his stories sound convincing. When it's you see not, what I'm saying? And when it's not, even when it's not true. Even when it's not true. Even not, when it's not true. But see, there's power in manipulation. And you have to believe in the power of manipulation. And seeing things through a video, it has the power of manipulation. Because a person can tell a story the way they want you to see it and the way they want you to believe it by getting clips of videos, getting a story together, getting this person to come and agree, this person to disagree. And then when the 700, 500 people walk away with that story, they're convinced. You see what I'm saying? But you have to stand firm in facts. You see, because the truth doesn't change, but the, the lies, you have to always change your lies. You know what I mean? But you just have to stand firm. And even when me and Ashanti fell out, he knew. Let me tell you something. One time Ashanti was on the live, and he kept leaving off the live. And this is when Facebook was young. Mm -hmm. things and you know we were doing a lot of things that we were unaware was having an effect on people as well as people was doing things to me like I said I had a lot of enemies behind you know that page with Ashanti blocking people keeping bitches in line when they would come on the line and be disrespectful you know what I mean they end up didn't like me you know what I mean and then on top of that I'm the only American amongst all these Jamaican people so they of course they didn't that gave them even more 
But, you know, getting back to the point, even when me and Ashanti fell out, he knew that I was going to come and tell people that he was a cokehead because I had already knew his history from Miss Olive. And Miss Olive, I love her to death. But at the end of the day, the truth is the truth. And she knows that that's the type of lifestyle she used to live as well. So that's how she can clarify that Ashanti is a cokehead and that he used to sell coke. Okay. And, um... And he and one day he was on the live and I called in the live in private and I was like, whatever you're doing, you need to stop because it is obvious. And he was literally sniffing coke and you can hear him sniffing him on the live and acting crazy. You know, his attitude would go up and down, up and down. So I knew he was a cokehead. I'm from the hood. You understand what I'm saying? I know a cokehead when I see one. You see how I can consistently talk on the live and you don't hear me going, that's because I don't sniff coke. You might hear me cough. <laughs> Cause I smoke weed. You feel me? But anyway, getting yeah. back to the story. So anyway, when me and Ashanti fell out, he knew that I was going to come and tell the world that he was a bona fide cokehead. So he made up some big story about me sniffing coke in the bathroom with my friends. And then he had everybody on Facebook and Instagram believing that I'm a bona fide cokehead, which I've never touched a shit in my life. But that's just the price you pay for being on Instagram. You understand what I'm saying? And being on Facebook and being a part of social media, you got to have a backbone like steel. And because I'm a vet in this shit, and I've been on this bitch for about seven years, I am a vet. And can't no bitch walking on two legs like me speaking Patois, English, Spanish, Creole, French, Arab, any motherfucking language puts no fear in my heart because I know what it feels like to lose. Once you know what it feels like to lose, everything else in life comes easy. Wipe your tears, baby girl. You doing the right thing. If you love Miss Donna, you just love Miss Donna. You have every right to love Miss Donna and speak out for Miss Donna. She doing a lot of things in Jamaica. Shit that people haven't seen before, unheard of. You understand this lady is taking the ground and building up buildings. That's amazing. That's amazing. Of course you should support something like that. You don't allow the devil to interfere. Ashanti been doing the same thing for seven fucking years, and he hasn't moved yet. He finally got a free way to collect cash at and don't have to involve nobody else. So now he's rolling with Rush now. But before, he used to have to convince people, convince, you know, send money here, send money here, give the people $200 American, and they think they accomplished the world. Look at Lion. He collected all that fucking money for Lion in Jamaica and left her right in Jamaica with her tongue white as motherfucking powder, no cell phone. The baby don't be having no pampers on his little dick. He running around on, on Instagram with no pamper on, but Ashanti's supposed to be her sponsor. Where's all the money you collected for this lady and left her in Jamaica suffering? And then the video that I sent you is of Ashanti being arrested and kicked out of Jamaica when I, Keiko, and I don't give a fuck who know that I did it, called the police in Jamaica in Franklin Town and told him that he was spreading disease and that he was... Oh, so that was a, that was a video... Listen now, yeah, that was a video that he mistake right that he that he made mistake and play on his live. That's right. And end the and live and no deleted the live and because he didn't want it nobody to, to see it. Okay, no continue talking. Okay. And I had a video with him at the emergency room in Jamaica where he was on the live and thought that he hung it up and he was telling the doctor, just give me morphine shots in my butt because he was in so much pain. But I've messed up and he deleted that video and that video is old. It's in an old, old phone that I had from like 2017. You understand what I'm saying? If you notice, Ashanti's still walking around with the same two hoodies on. That pink hoodie and that black hoodie that says Ashanti 360. He ain't going to take no money and invest in himself nor his business because he's a piece of shit. He go on and act like his mother, his grandmother love him so much. If you look at his grandmother's face, she can't stand him. She just tolerate him because that's her grandson. And she, oh, 
people and they don't have no other choices. He loved to talk about other people's family. Let's talk about how you are illegitimate bastard, Ashanti, and how your mother fucked somebody else's husband and had you, and because your father never stayed around to take care of you day in your life, you can't stand the man. Let's talk your truth today, Ashanti. You think I told you years ago that if you ever, ever, ever crossed me, that you would fucking regret it and I would haunt you for the rest of your life. And that's what the fuck I mean. And I'm gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. I'm going to tell you the truth like nobody else could tell it. You ain't nothing but a piece of shit. Your mother and your your grandmother just tolerate you, and your father don't even recognize you. You's a piece of shit. Whether you take dick in the butt, either way, you still a savage. You still look sick. You're decaying from the inside. You're infestation. You over there conning the women out of their 401k and their paycheck. Shit they supposed to lead to their grandkids. You ain't going to Fuck none of them old ladies, because you know you like men, and you like threesomes with young girls, because you's a fucking pedophile. You's a pedophile. Now, you do what you got to do as far as I'm concerned. I don't give a fuck. Show any picture you got to show. My life is an open book. I don't got a motherfucking thing to hide. Every car I got in my motherfucking driveway is paid for. I got a deed to the house that I'm living in, and you can call any way you motherfucking call. And if Matt Luck know like I know, and if Ashanti know any better, you tell that bitch so to what's stay in line. Um, so what's Matt Luck there from you were there in that time? That bitch ain't never been around. She's an old hag wanting a reason. Let me tell you something, Gracie. These bitches want a reason. They want a reason to exist. And Ashanti cons them behind the scenes and make them feel a poor important and give them a reason to exist. You understand what I'm saying? Because they have no other purpose in life. And that's the thing that he thought about me, but he underestimated this bitch not knowing that I have a family and that I got plenty of motherfucking sense and whatever I was doing and participating in was my choice, not because he was motherfucking kind of me. Yes, Takeda Frazier, all this is really motherfucking necessary, bitch. That's the problem. You allow these bitches to come over here and disrespect you and talk too much shit on your page. You need to start blocking these hoes because they ain't your friends. Any bitch that come talk shit to me, they could come bite me. Come suck my clit. I wouldn't give a fuck. Oh, wait, wait, right wait. Along. Wait, guys. We are listening today. I want to think Grace to get information. We must learn to listen. Yes, sir. If somebody from over the enemy camp come for go to information and over take it, them know what I want, what the we don't know. Yeah, Carla. Gracie, let me tell you something. That's another thing. When you sit and you read these comments and these people weigh in their opinions, this munchy love, bitch, who are you? What reason would Gracie have to trust me? Me and her not going to the bank? Me and her not going to the doctor? Me and her not signing no contract? What fucking reason she got to, to trust me? We're not me? laughing. It's a serious matter. When they, on the tip, me get my information then. When people from over the, when he's over the camp, come over for tell with things. We need to learn for listen. If we don't listen, we don't know what going on over there. We don't know for war. We don't know for fight. On the tip, me get me information. Then most people from over to tell me, stop it. No, don't do it. Me don't like that. On the want information. We not gonna know unless them leak it. One color, yeah. Yeah. So like I was saying, you know what I mean? Going back to the story with the T-shirts. Ashanti was selling T-shirts. But because his ass is so crooked, he went and took all the lady T-shirts from the printer. Didn't want to pay the lady for the T-shirts. The lady ended up falling out with Ashanti. Had to give the lady back the T-shirts. All he ended up with was the few that he sold. And then the people who sent him money that never got their product. And then them two raggedy ass T-shirts that he be his t hoodies that he just been wearing for the last seven years. Like, pay attention. You got to pay attention. These all the people that follow him are old women with no purpose, thought that nobody cared, nobody gave them a purpose in life. You know what I mean? They kids grown, they got grandkids, none of them ain't got no man, ain't none of them married, and them been married two or three times, every last one of them marriages don't stuff. These bitches need a purpose in life, and he gives them that behind the scenes. And let me tell you, 
how he gets them. He he talks to them. He makes them have phone sex with him. He forced them to send pictures, you know, they panty pictures and things like that. Now he got evidence on him. So now you're going to do whatever the fuck he tell you to do. You just see what I'm saying? So that's how he get them to be so bona fide and, you know, loyal to him. And as far as M- Mishka, Mishka, a young, pretty girl. Mishka don't give a fuck about Ashanti. All she wants is whatever Ashanti give her from the donors on Ashanti 360 page. That bitch, long as she's eating and feeding her son and going to Forever 21 with the money she get from the donors, she'll do anything Ashanti say. But that's about it. And that's as far as that shit goes, honey. Okay. Moving right along. Just have you a stern backbone and don't be afraid. He's going to make up lies, just like he made up lies about me. But it's all good. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they lies. Why would I be upset and traumatized and, you know, disfigured by lies? I got a four-bedroom home with three bathrooms in this bitch. Please. You feel me? I work at a corporate company. You understand what I'm saying? I've heard Mishka be on the live talk about how she used to pull her son penis so it would be long. You know what I mean? At the time, this little baby was like three, four years old. And that's when I first started falling out with Ashanti. You understand what I'm saying? Even when he had the little girl Tati on his live. And you know, Tati, Tati is a little vulnerable girl. At the time, she was 17 and 18 years old, but even though that, she still had the mentality of a little girl. So, you know, she felt vulnerable to Ashanti, and her mother and Ashanti trusted, you know, her and her mother trusted Ashanti, and she ended up confiding some very personal things to Ashanti. He ended up sharing those things with them bitches that he picked up from the back road. And one day he was on the live, and he had them disrespecting Tati, telling her how she can't wash her pussy and all kind of disrespectful shit. You know what I'm saying? And then even the story with Sonia. I had heard the behind the scenes that he had fucked Sonia behind Webby house and Webby had caught him. And that's how come him and Webby eventually fell out because Webby knew that Ashanti had fucked Sonia. Sonia also is another person with special needs. And now just to hear Blackie say that, that Sonia has a son. Yes, we need a DNA. Call motherfucking Maury. Maury, 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 Maury. We need a DNA. We need a DNA. Nine times out of the I don't know who Matt Lock is. I really don't. But I mean, even the bitch, a Yankee 360. Like, bitch, you sound like you from the dead, dirty South. Like, you walk bare feet every motherfucking day. You talk about what they should do to Miss Donna. You sound like a fucking ignorant bitch. You don't know nothing about surviving in Jamaica and what it takes to survive in Jamaica and what that lady got to do every day and what it took to get Miss Donna where she got to go. You following up Ashanti and his bullshit. He ain't going to lead y'all nowhere to a dead motherfucking river. That's it. That's it. Big Red's supposed to be his sister, but all now he can't get Big Red out the hood. He can't get Big Red out the ghetto. He can't get Lion out the ghetto. He can't get himself out the motherfucking ghetto. But y'all selling this motherfucker all y'all hopes and dreams. Are you dumb? Talk truth. Talk truth. Talk to, I mean, when you really break it down for what it is, we got a fucking maggot. A maggot. Ashanti's so convincing that, yes, he'll go somewhere and take a shower and be on their couch overnight, but he's not going to stay there long because his ass is tormented. His soul is tormented. He cannot sit no place long. That's why when that shit, that hex got put on him, you'll cross that seat ten times. You sit at the table a hundred times, the table will turn ten times on you. You're never going to go no further than what you are. Period. Gracie, you young, fresh and green. Your life is just getting started, girl. There's nothing but hope for you on social media. But you just got to wipe your tears and be strong and be firm and believe in anything you that if anything is possible. Don't let that old scroll bait, 47-year-old dog shit make you cry and make you feel and look at Erica look at Erica her, her, look at her like uh, her sewing her oats been gone 20 years ago and you letting this old witch make you cry no darling no 
So that's all I had to say. All right, thank you. And I'm out of here. Thank and you. pick up your damn self. And when mm. I get a chance, probably tomorrow morning, I definitely will look and cash up your little thing. And everybody, big up your damn self. And I'm out of here. All right, bye. All right. Um, come now. One more call. Somebody that call me. So let me see who that call me again. <laughs>